Star Wars Rebels is a great underrated TV show that is often overlooked. It is not as liked as The Clone Wars and some people don't even bother watching it. In this video, I'll explain what the biggest problem with Star Wars Rebels is and how it could be fixed. And its biggest problem is the animation. Now it goes without saying that the animation in Rebels is inferior to that of Clone Wars. I've even had people tell me that they know Rebels is going to be good, yet they just can't get into it because they don't like the animation. And it is understandable. Just to compare, this is what Season 1 of Rebels looks like, and this is what Season 6 of Clone Wars looks like. They both came out at around the same time, yet the Clone Wars animation is much better. When it comes to animated shows, the animation is very important. The way the characters look and everything else is important since it can make people not get into the show as much or, on the other hand, really get into it. Think about it. Would you rather watch the same show with mediocre animation or with good animation? The answer is obviously the latter. Now the animation isn't all that bad towards the end and it gets better over time. If you compare this in season 4 and this in season 1, there is a clear improvement, but the style is still the same and that is part of the issue. The kind of style in the animation is a miss and I hope this style doesn't continue. The new Clone Wars animation is so good, as shown in Tales of the Jedi. It is clear that the animation style impacts Star Wars Rebels in a negative way. You can't do a review or talk about what you think of Star Wars Rebels without mentioning the animation. The way forwards with animation is definitely with the Clone Wars animation as shown in Tales of the Jedi and the Bad Batch. It just looks so good and it's not so elongated. And that leads me to the main problem with the animation, which is how elongated it is. The faces and lightsabers look weird and off. Just look at this picture of Kanan and his lightsaber in Rebels compared to this picture of Anakin and his lightsaber in the Clone Wars. The latter looks so much better and it's not squished together. It looks funny and I wish it would be different. It would be good if the animation didn't feel so squished together and stretched out, but more normal like real people would look, while still having that animation feel. They could have done something similar to the Clone Wars, yet different to showcase this different era and this different kind of show, yet the animation they used wasn't a good part and it really negatively impacted the show. Rebels is one of my favorite Star Wars TV shows and at one point before season 7 of the Clone Wars I debated which show was better. If the animation was similar to the Clone Wars or at least of a better style it could be considered by some better than the Clone Wars. Now obviously not everyone likes Rebels as I do and not all of that is due to the animation but it is undeniable that the animation in Rebels really brings it down a notch. Overall, the biggest problem with Rebels is the animation style and the way it looks so elongated. If it was simply, as I said earlier, put back to normal size, it would be much better. But that is enough for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below whether you agree or disagree with me about the biggest problem with Star Wars Rebels. Like and subscribe to the channel, and apart from that, have a great day.